The weather forecast promised us sunshine. What an absolute lie that was. $500 million weather satellite, and it can't even get the weather right. What a load of shit. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the Abroad in Japan journey across Japan. Lots of words with Japan in it, cycle across Japan. Good to see you, I'm sorry I haven't had a shower yet so my face is very horrible and not good to look at so sorry about that. Chris just went down into the hot spring for his morning, his morning relaxation bath. Turns out a special guest has arrived, I wonder who it could possibly be. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh, money. Good morning. Good morning. What happened yesterday? I had a boiler <laughs> in the salon. Your, the boiler genuinely exploded. Yeah. Oh no. How, how are your legs today? Legs. You're wearing legs. cycling. He's wearing cycling pants again. But today Natsuki's just here to wave us off. But I'm, I'm glad he came all the way here just to say goodbye. It's a, a nice gesture. Every time I walk away from Natsuki and come back to him, he's wearing, he's just wearing something different. What's this? It's Yamagata Idol. Yeah. Okay, so the, the, the food of Yamagata basically is cherries, so now oh, he's heavy. He's got some sort of cherry oh. helmet. Oh. I'm just too early in the morning it's for this. It's safety! Jelly Chris! What's, what? what oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Nice helmet. Oh dear. Yes. This is Niigata. Niigata made. Gambate. So apparently I've got to wear this all the way to Niigata. Only thing is, I don't know if it fits over the helmet, so that might be a, a rather dangerous health hazard. I don't want to fall off the bike and then not survive because I was wearing a stupid cherry hat. Anyway, look at this over here. It's time to introduce the thing that's going to make this whole cycle all the more interesting. So this is Anpan Man. He's a very famous Japanese cartoon character and he is wearing the builder's cycle helmet from yesterday. It looks like a construction worker helmet. But this is a capsule toy machine containing capsules but there's no toys. Every single day of the trip, what we're gonna have in here are challenges sent in by you guys that I will undertake. Maybe it's a food you want me to try, a place you want me to go, or a person you want me to meet. Whatever your challenge is, you can write it down on the Tokyo Creative website. I put a link in the description box below. Write it there. Every single day of the trip, my team who are traveling with me will pick out five or six of the craziest, wackiest ones, put them in this machine, and then at the start of every single day, I'll pull out a challenge and undertake it. Hopefully, something good. And hopefully, it's not something that involves a cherry hat. Whatever it is, guys, send it in, and hopefully, it could be your toy coming out of, uh, coming out of Ampan Man's, coming out of his crotch. What a visual. Who thought that was a good idea? How distasteful. Is it actually fitting on? It's just coming off, though. He really, really wants me to wear this, this, cherry, <laughs> this cherry hat over my helmet. And to do that, he started cutting it up. What, this is, this is mental fucking... Holy killing Jim. Oh my God. It's taking all the stress out from the uh, exploded boiler on the cherry hat. Natsuki, by the end of this, there's gonna be nothing left. This is mental. Natsuki, have you got another challenge? I don't, I think this challenge is, uh, has been shredded, quite literally. Postcard. Postcard? Yeah. Oh, now that's a challenge I can get behind. Yeah. Murakami? Yeah. Maybe Niigata? Mm. Postcard. All right. And you can have that back. Yeah. Thanks, mate. That's it. That's not work. Well, Natsuki, it's been great to, to see you and have you join us on this part of the, of the journey. Take care. Thanks, Natsuki. See? Bye, Natsuki. Bye. <laughs> go, go, Chris. Go, Chris. <laughs> and away we go again. 50 kilometers to go. The stretch of the route we're going down today is very, very remote. I don't even think there's any convenience stores. I feel a little bit emotional saying goodbye to Natsuki. It feels like now the cycle kind of really begins. It is absolutely tipping it down. Thank God I found this little bus shelter. It's like fucking Noah's Ark out there. I would have been swept away in a flood. I do have a giant raincoat I could have pulled over myself, but this is the kind of rain that just hits the road and bounces straight back off. So I thought I'd just wait it out, sit here and uh, just relax all by myself in the absolute middle of nowhere. If you're wondering where my team are, the three guys who are traveling with me, basically for the whole trip, they go 20, 25 kilometers ahead of me uh, and they just, we sort of meet at 20 kilometer intervals. And they do that to check that 
that I'm not dead. So when I turn up and meet them, puffing, panting, exhausted, they can see that I'm still alive and they can kind of feel a sense of relief before they go ahead to the next place. Um, there are going to be people dropping in along the trip, along different parts of it. We do have a guy uh, who's coming two or three days later in Niigata. He's a guy, he's a vlogger, and uh, he's quite well known. If you know your YouTubers, you could probably guess who he is. Let's see if you can guess in the comments. But uh, for now, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait this out a little bit longer. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't stop, then I'm just gonna have to put my coat on and take my chances, to be honest. Something I'm not really looking forward to. I must admit, as of now, cycling in the rain might be one of my new least favorite things. It's going in my eyes and face. The water is just spraying off the tires at my back. The weather forecast promised us sunshine. What an absolute lie that was. $500 million weather satellite, and it can't even get the weather right. What a load of shit. Some of the worst rain I've encountered in years. Cycling in the rain makes me wonder why I'm doing all this. When I could just be sitting at home on my sofa, enjoying biscuits, you know. So we've done 31 kilometers now guys, we've got 22 left to go. If I was clever, the one sponsorship deal that I should have got is this. This is uh, energy jelly, you can get it in any convenience store across Japan. Uh, this is super protein, and it's not just protein, it's super protein. Honestly, though I may have been whinging earlier about the weather, I couldn't be happier right now. This is absolutely stunning. Sitting here with the sea air blowing in my face, my banana yogurt super protein jelly pack. This is it, this is what cycling's all about. This is what I pictured the whole thing being like really, so I'm really glad the dream has turned into reality. There were many reasons I wanted to go on this trip, like get fit, learn how to produce daily videos, which is something I've never done, and push myself in a way that I, I never have. You know, I never thought I'd be able to do 50 kilometers of cycling in a day. But above all, it was just about rediscovering travel. I I started hating traveling places. I think it's because whenever I make a video, I'm usually traveling there to make a video. Whereas in this case, there is no plan. We're just going along to places and filming things along the way. I mean, when we looked up this region on a map, there was not a single thing on it, not a single attraction or thing there. And yet, we come across a place like this. You turn the corner, you go around the cliff, and you come to somewhere like this, which is far more beautiful and profound than most attractions that I've seen in Japan anyway. So for me, this romantic cove with the sea air blowing in and the super protein jelly in hand, this personifies what the cycle is all about for me and why I decided to do it in the first place. I do feel like there's a bit of an us and them mentality emerging between my team and I. Uh, look at them in their cosy, comfortable automobile with their convenient seats and rainproof design. Bastards. Although to be fair, despite the bad weather, I actually beat them here. Because they've been sitting in the car all day on their MacBook Pros, with it plugged into the battery, they drained the, the car battery. Uh, and they needed somebody to come and stop and jump start their car, so I actually beat them here, surprisingly. Yeah, we made it to Niigata. And the first thing we've got is roadworks, brilliant. <laughs> I don't think they've got enough people working on that road. So it's 5.15 and we're coming up to Murakami Station. I don't believe it. I've actually done it. Somehow. Don't believe it. We did it. Finally made it somewhere before sunset. Because I didn't wear Natsuki's ridiculous cherry hat thing, I promised him that I would take him a photo, give him a postcard instead. So I've got to complete that challenge before I can truly relax. Chris, help me out here, I've got, I've got no idea. Uh, what if you just hold in front of the station? Zampan, man. Oh, yeah. I'll do. I'll do. Wow! Chris, Murakami, you came out! Thank you! It's still long, but you're going to work! Thank you! Nice picture! My legs are really a little bit achy. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 on the aching scale. Though I do feel pretty pumped up. I don't know, I, even though it's 
about 1am at the moment because I've been editing, I, uh, I still feel kind of awake and alive and energetic and I think it must be something to do with endorphins, I don't know. I really need to look up what endorphins are. I always quote endorphins, everybody does, but I feel like I haven't a clue what they are, so I should probably read about that. Tomorrow we reach Niigata City, and in Niigata I get a day off. We're gonna just explore the city and walk around the day after tomorrow, so I can kind of relax a little bit and hopefully my legs can recover. That's all for now though, guys. I'm about to roll over and get some much needed sleep. No matter where you might be out there in the big wide world, thanks for watching, and hopefully, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one. I must admit, it's not every day a stranger pulls you over at the side of the road to give you a packet of custard cream biscuits. Oh, yeah.